Welcome to the Star of Grind. So you're an active blogger. I mentioned, if you, if you haven't checked out Gabe's blog, it's an awesome blog. Um, one of your blog posts I read back in March was about customer development and traction. You recently co-authored a book around traction. I'm still working on it. Still working on it. Can, can, can you talk a little bit about the, you know, what traction means to you by way of customer development, lean methodology, lean startups? It's all, this is a r real hot conversation in the startup world. Yeah, so traction means to me real customer engagement, which means uh, customers are truly engaged with your product. Um, and you could, that means something different ac across different products, right? For here, it's, you have people wanting to <laughs> have the space, right? Um, for consumer search engine, for, for me, it's people want to switch to it as their primary search engine. Um, and then once you have that engagement, the question becomes, how do you get more of that engagement? And so that's what the book is kind of focused on. Um, and what I did was I did a bunch of interviews like this. With it, back in 2010, I started doing them with uh, people I could reach who had, had done a lot of successful stuff. And I asked them to really dig deep into what made it successful, like when it really took off. Um, and what I uncovered was th they used about 20 different uh, what we call traction channels to do so. So obvious ones that people always know, you know, SEO, AdWords on Google, sales. But then there's all these other ones that are kind of edge cases, but they're not really edge cases because people are successful with them, like trade shows, um, affiliate marketing, you know, just business development. Um, and generally, when a startup took off, they were focusing on just one of these. One of these made it take off. Um, and from talking to founders, people like look at these channels in a very ad hoc way. They're like, oh, I know about AdWords. I'm going to try that now and try some social media. Um, I'm not going to think about trade shows ever because they've never been to one or something, you know? <laughs> um, but the trade show maybe your, for your business may have been the thing that you should have done first, you know? Um, and so I was trying to come up with a framework of how to think about these channels and how to get to the one that works for you fastest. And the basic methodology is you got to cut out your bias. You got to look at all 20 as potential targets. Um, come do some serious research and brainstorming around them and, and then try to winnow down on the few that maybe have the best case for working now. Test them in parallel. If one starts to work, double down on that. If not, kind of repeat. Um, and, you know, I think it's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs>